I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. I have a huge Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now this last time when I went into my uh, local stores they were finally starting to put out some of their Easter. So um, I did go on a trip and hit about three stores in one day. So I did pick up a good amount of the new Easter decor that's coming out for this year. So let's jump right on in with that. I also did pick up some more crafting supplies and some more snacks and uh, some really beautiful florals. So I'll share those with you as well. But I'm gonna start uh, in the seasonal up front. I did pick up uh, one item for St. Patrick's Day. I just grabbed one of these cute little hats. I had an idea for that. And then I picked this up for Valentine's Day. I know it's after Valentine's Day, but I didn't see these before. And they're just treat containers and you get six pieces and that's what they look like and I thought they were so cute so you have six boxes with uh, different little tags it kind of shows you in the picture there and I thought those were really cute so I grabbed one of those for next year okay so let's go ahead and get into Easter now they had a lot of new stuff so I was really excited now this next item, I'm not sure if it was new or not. Um, I didn't see it last year, but I think I saw someone haul it last year. Anyway, it's one of the garden stakes. Look at that bunny. How cute. They had a couple different ones to choose from. I really liked this one that had the little bunny in the front. They had some others that had baskets that had eggs and other items in it. But this is all metal. And I thought it was so cute, and I had an idea for a project for him, so I grabbed one of these. Now this next item is also a garden stake. Brand new this year for sure, and it is absolutely adorable. Look at that. And it's all metal. It is a carrot. I thought that was so cool. It has three little metal leaves on top and some little metal squigglies the stake isn't really long but it is sufficient so if you wanted to stick it maybe in one of your potted plants out front or in a pot that you have inside the house um, i don't know how easy it would be to cut this you could cut it a little shorter if you had um, some strong cutters and maybe put it in a an arrangement in the house or something but i thought that was so cool I do have two large pots outside um, that bank the same area in front of my house. So I did go ahead and I grabbed six of those to put three in each pot. I thought they were absolutely amazing. And this is something that is going to last me for years. And it only cost me a dollar. Some more garden steaks that are new this year. Uh, these are more of the wood or MDF. Um, these two I thought were so cute. And it is the little chick. I really like it. It has that kind of distressed wood finish for the background. And it has a small burlap bow. Very cute. A little chick with the Easter egg. And that does come on a garden stick. So I thought that was so cute. This one was new. This one has to be my favorite. This one is also new. A little bunny. And it says welcome on the carrot. Absolutely adorable. And this again comes on one of the garden stakes. But you know, these are really cute. They're a good size. You could easily take these off the stake and put them onto a wreath or use them in some other form of decor. But he has that same kind of distressed or faux wood background. Really love it. I grabbed one of them. Now this one is a repeat from last year, but I just had to pick it up. Um, I did go ahead and make a wreath with the pink truck. So I did grab a, a yardstake with the pink truck as well. 
Now, again, if you can't find the sign, but you can find the yard stake, you can always buy this, take these off, and then put them on a wreath. But absolutely adorable. And it says, Happy Easter on a long yard stake. So, very cute. And the pink car has the eggs in the back, and the blue car has carrots in the back with the bunny. Ah, I did go ahead and grab one of the little blue truck uh, hanging signs. So as you can see, this one has the carrots in the background. Still has the little bunny jumping in, but I love these. And I know the trucks are still really popular, so this is perfect to put on a wreath. Now, I was really excited. I did find several of the new signs that are out this year. And this next one, I tell you, I walked into the store. I immediately looked over into the area where they have put up the Easter stuff. And this was the very first thing I saw. And I immediately beelined straight to it. And it is, yes, the little gnome, one of the little gnome signs. They only had one variety, and it was this one. They had about six, so I did buy two of them. But isn't he adorable? I think he's probably my favorite. I lucked out. I love the little Easter eggs. They have one, I believe, that's holding a carrot and one that's holding a chocolate Easter bunny and then this one. So I was really excited. I finally <laughs> found one of the gnome signs that's new. I'm so excited. So I did grab two of these. I'm still on the hunt for the other two. I would like one of each of the different designs, but he is my favorite, so I did buy two. Now these next two signs I absolutely fell in love with, and I think they are so nice. Got a little fuzzies on there. And this first one has the blue truck, and it is a carrot patch. Very nice. I like the uneven edge here along the side. They did the colors really nice. There is a lot of glitter. I mean, that whole truck is glitter and the arrow down here and the cabbage patch is also glittered. But I thought that was so pretty. So I did grab one of those. I love it when they come out with new signs. And this is also new. This one says Cottontail Farms and it is a pink truck. And again, this does have a lot of glitter but it has that uneven edge that I like. The colors are bright and cheery, which is what you want for spring and Easter. So Cottontail Farms open daily, $1 per dozen, this way to the bunny trail. So really nice, I love that. Now these next two signs I fell in love with and I was really surprised to see them at the Dollar Tree. I did look up on the website so I knew that they were coming and to look for them, but they are just as cute in person as they were online. And this one says Cottontail and Company Egg Farm, Hippity Hoppity Lane, one mile ahead, egg hunts daily. Absolutely adorable. And this is an additional piece on top. And then it has the little rivets. Really, really nice. The prints are nice. This looks way more than a dollar. Absolutely gorgeous. So I did grab two of this one. And then the other one that they had in that same type of style says fresh carrots, locally grown, 25 cents each. Cottontail Farms, 100% organic. Another absolutely gorgeous sign. Now, the one thing that I like about these is you can use it for Easter, you can put it up just for spring, or you can use it for everyday decor. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I did grab two of these as well. Now, one new trend that Dollar Tree has started to do, which I'm very happy that they are, is they've started to do long signs for every uh, season or holiday which I'm really happy for because a lot of times we use the long signs and put them together and create something ourselves. So it makes it much easier for um, our subscribers and our viewers to be able to find the long signs if they have them pretty much all year long. 
So I did grab some more. This one says Happy Easter and it's in blues. It does have a really pretty rose there up at the top with some greenery. And it does have that kind of faux wood background as well. So they have this one that says Happy Easter in the blue. And then they also have this one that says Happy Easter in the pink. And it has the same rose up at the top and kind of that faux wood background. So I did just grab one of each of these. I did find uh, three more signs that were new. I don't know if they have any more of these uh, other than these three. This one says, Every Bunny Welcome. And I really love all the pastel colors and the bunny right here is three-dimensional. It's an additional piece. But I think that is just so pretty. I love all the colors. So I did grab one of those. And then this one says Easter Joy. And the little chick is three-dimensional. Again, I really love the colors on this. Now, have any of you used these long signs like this horizontally in any of your crafts? If you have, let me know below what you use them in. Because they're kind of big to go this way on a wreath, don't you think? I don't know. I think they're really cute, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. And then the last one in that group that I could find was this one, and it says Happy Easter. This one has more of a wood background, that darker wood, and the carrot there is three-dimensional. But again, really cute. And all of the ones that are horizontal all have a little jute cord on them to hang. So those were all the signs that I could find. I'm still on the hunt for the other two gnomes and anything else that might be new. If you have found any other new signs in your store, can you let me know in the comments below so I can keep my eye out for them? Okay, some other items that I picked up in the Easter section. They had some really adorable tins this year. And I really like them. I do a lot of different things with them. Sometimes I just fill them with goodies as a gift. Sometimes I'll put a plant in it and use it as a hostess gift. Sometimes I'll uh, make a floral arrangement. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can use it as a base for a topiary. But I really loved this one. I thought it was so cute. It's so farmhouse. Cottontail farms. Carrot patch. Flower farm. Really, really pretty. So I grabbed one of those. And these are nicely made. They are very sturdy. They're not wimpy at all. And this one I thought was so cute with all the little different colors of bunnies. And the handle there is pink. And look, even the bottom is pink. They did such a nice job. And these hold a decent amount. They're not too big, but they're not too small. So I grabbed one of each of those. Now, a brand new basket that I found this year that I have not seen in the past, and I thought it was absolutely adorable, and I immediately had an idea of what I wanted to do with it. So I did go ahead and pick it up. It is sim simply looking, but it's really pretty. It does have texture, and then it has that bow and more texture around the bottom. But I really like the shape that it's kind of fluted at the top, and it does have a handle. And if I remember correctly, you could get this in the green, pink, and maybe blue, I think were the colors. But I really thought that was pretty, and I have an idea for it. I hope it works out. I grabbed one of those. Now, I did pick up a couple packages of their uh, fake eggs that you would normally fill for your kids. And um, I bought them because I've never seen anything like these, and I thought they were so cute. This first one, you get 10 pieces, and the eggs look like little heads of animals. Okay, so I went ahead and opened them up because they're just so cute. So there's the little tiger, the little cow, 
draft. Monkey. And the last one, a little koala. So cute. I just had to buy a package of those. And then the other package I got, I thought these were really cute. They look like they are kind of sugar coated. They're glistening and they're just labeled as Easter eggs and you get eight. They're kind of rainbow colored, but they're also really glittery, almost like they were rolled in sugar. So I thought those were really cute. I thought, yeah, they might look really good on a, on a wreath. So I grabbed one package of those and you get eight pieces in that. Now, I was really surprised to find this. Um, I did not even know that they had come out with this color for Easter in their ribbon section. And uh, they had just put the box out because all the other boxes that I've seen for Easter ribbon did not have this in it. So it's definitely a hot color. And you get three yards of two and a half inch burlap ribbon. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? absolutely gorgeous i went ahead and opened one but it is nice and thick it does have a wired edge so you can bend it to do whatever you want it to it feels like it is very nice quality it's not real thin or sheer i absolutely love it really really pretty ribbon i did go ahead and i picked up four because I don't know if I'll find it again. Such a pretty color. I wish I would have had it when I made my first Easter wreath because I would have used some of that ribbon. I also found some more uh, smaller ribbon. And let's see, this is 5 eighths of an inch. Really pretty. This is kind of like a soft gold, almost like a rose gold, glittery. And then this one is that really pretty kind of baby blue glittery they had several other colors as well but these two were the two that i was drawn to the most so i grabbed one of each of those and then i went ahead they have these they've had these the last couple years i grabbed another cotton tail i had an idea for it uh hopefully i will get to it <laughs> i always have all the uh, these ideas for crafts and things but i rarely get through them all before the season ends Okay, so this next item was another score. They just put the box out when I walked in, so I finally found some. And they are the Little Fuzzy Friends Easter Gnomes. Aren't they cute? Now, uh, they only had three different kinds in the box. They had this guy with the gray hat and the blue body. And then they had this guy with the gray body and kind of a pinky, purpley hat. Little feeder that way too, really cute. Let's see, and then this one, again, with the teal hat, the gray body, little teal feet, very cute. They have the little ears. Aren't they adorable? So cute. So since the box was new, I did go ahead and I bought two of each of these. So I did buy a total of six. No, I did not buy the whole box and I would not do that. I wouldn't know how to use 36 of those guys. But I was so happy that I finally found them because I missed them at Christmas. I missed them at Valentine's Day. So I was glad that I was able to find them for Easter. Okay, so that was all the Easter that I picked up. Uh, I did find a few beauty items, so I'll share those with you. Uh, I found a, a small selection of tea tree items for your face. I really do like tea tree. I have been using it for years. It works really good on your skin, especially if you have any kind of inflammation. Uh, so I picked this up. This is 1.8 ounce. It is a tea tree clay mask. And it says it is manufactured by Greenbrier. So I grabbed one of those. And then this one is one fluid ounce. It is tea tree facial oil. And then I also found uh, one fluid ounce of a tea tree night lotion. So I'm really excited to try these out. Uh, the tea tree facial oil is more for my scalp. 
Um, I do have psoriasis and it tends to break out on my scalp and I get it sometimes right around my hairline. And tea tree oil seems to work really well for that. Um, it seems to soothe it enough that uh, it, help, it definitely helps and takes care of the issue. So it was nice to find those. I did pick up one of each of those. And then I did find another of the L'Oreal Extraordinarily Clay 4 ounce dry shampoo. So um, I really like this. So I use dry shampoo every once in a while and it can be very expensive, like seven to ten dollars for a four ounce container like this. So if I can get it at the Dollar Tree and it works well, I'm very happy. Now this next item um, I just picked up because I can't see worth beans and I thought these were so cute. I tend to lose my readers all the time. But I thought these were absolutely adorable. They have these new for spring. They come in pink and orange and lavender and green and several other colors. Got little roses on uh, the little arms on this one. So I thought it was so cute. I grabbed another one. I don't know what happened. I've lost like another two pairs. I swear, even I thank God they only cost a dollar. I couldn't imagine if I had to pay 70 or 80 dollars for these and lose them as fast as I do. <laughs> okay, so that was just the few items that I picked up in the beauty department. Now the next I want to share with you are the florals. Now they are getting in some absolutely gorgeous florals. And this first one um, I was actually specifically looking for. And I went on their Dollar Tree uh, website and looked for them to see if they even carried them. And I was surprised to see that they did. So when I found them in my store, it made me even happier. And what I'm talking about are their Magnolia flowers. Now they have three different kinds. This one has just a very light pink center. And they all have, let's see, one, two, three, about four, four blooms and some greenery. So that has a very light pink in the center. Then they also have this one, which is all white. So it's more creamy. And then that little yellow in the center really stands out. And then this one, which is just gorgeous, has the dark pink in the center absolutely gorgeous so i did pick up uh, at least one stem of each and then the white and the dark pink i got like two stems these are so pretty uh I, the greenery doesn't really match truly to a magnolia but the blooms are really nice and these are if you were to go to michael's or something they are so expensive for magnolia flowers or leaves so it was really nice to find these on my last craftoutlet.com order, I did get a home sweet home sign that had magnolias on it. So I was really happy to find some. Hopefully the color tones and everything will match. Now I also found uh, several more really pretty florals. This is called Larksburg. I thought it was so pretty. I like the really dark round leaves. I like that it's kind of a creamy white with a little bit of yellow and then I really like that it has this different textured end. So you have like three different textures all on one stem which is really nice. Really really pretty. So I grabbed three of those. This next one, I you know I've seen the white ones at the Dollar Tree but I don't remember seeing these. And these are called Tiger Lilies. Look at how absolutely gorgeous that is for a dollar. And this, the petals are really thick. The fabric is thick. I like that. Those are definitely not wimpy flowers. So I did go ahead and I bought three stems of those because they are so pretty. Now they also have these in white and they had them in solid white and then white with a little yellow in the center. But these I thought were just so gorgeous. And I love the fact that on these, they even included those little black speckles. Beautiful. They're also starting to put out their spring bouquets. And I absolutely love it when they do this because you get a nice little mix 
of different flowers and greenery in one bouquet. So the first one is this one that I wanted to share with you. So you get that pretty blue hydrangea, this really pretty white flower, then you get a little bit of that orange sprig, you get the greenery, and you get a little butterfly. Very, very pretty. So I grabbed two of the blue. And then this one I thought was so pretty too. I really like the colored combinations. So you get that really bright pink and then the yellow, a little bit of kind of a green, the green leaves. And look at that butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? So I did pick up two of these. Really nice. If you're looking for an easy way to put together a nice spring bouquet, there you go. Just buy about three or four of these and put them in a bouquet and there you go. You got a really nice mixture and the colors all go together. Make it nice and easy for you. Now I did pick up one item over in the garden section and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this during this, this season or wait more till the fall. I always want these in the fall and of course Dollar Tree doesn't sell them. So I went ahead and picked a couple up and they're just these squared pots. I really liked this dark green color and you know they're not huge but they're a good size and I like the fact that, that they come solid on the bottom. There are no holes but there are areas where if you wanted to you can drill holes. So I grabbed two of those. Now, uh, when I went into the Crafter Square section, I did find a whole bunch more of this wonderful new items. <laughs> but this first one that I'm going to share with you was kind of a funny story because um, I looked all over during Christmas time for this one item and I couldn't find it in any of my stores. And lo and behold, one of these small stores here in town, I walked in and I looked down and there were four packages. And I bought all four because I was like, where have you been all my life? So you get 36 pieces and these are the small red berries. So I saw several people haul these and I looked and looked and looked and I could not find them. So let me tell you, I was so terribly excited. Now, as I'm sitting here looking at these, I just realized I got two different sizes. Fabulous. So this one package has smaller ones, but you get 36 in there. So I did grab two of those. And then this next package, you get larger ones. So you get 16, and I did get two packages of those as well. So I think that is so awesome. I'm so happy I found those. I just wish I would have had them at Christmas time. I also went ahead and grabbed a package of the gold mesh tubing. I have been using this more and more in my crafting. I have done a, a full mesh tubing wreath where this I use this as the base. It came out absolutely gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I'll link that down at the end. And uh, now I've also been using it where I'm adding it to my wreaths and my swags and things like that. I really like that it adds a different type of texture and a different look. So I went ahead and grabbed one package of that in the gold. And then I was so surprised when I went into my store because they still had some of these. And it is the 10 inch deco mesh. Now this is the only color that they had left. And this is the dark green that fades to a lighter green into a yellow into a pale yellow. And these originated at Walmart. These are closed out. Now at Walmart, they originally sold for about $4.98, five bucks. So it's a great buy that you can find them at Dollar Tree. So I did go ahead and pick up three more of these just because I could and they were still there. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to try to use this to make a St. Patrick's Day wreath. Hopefully I will get there before my time runs out. It's getting close for me to switch back over to Easter completely. Okay, so um, I found this little notebook. I thought it was so cute. It is very pretty. I love florals and especially bright colors. And it has a nice little band that wraps around it. And then the inside it is nice. It's a kind of fuzzy feeling. And it has uh, two sections. So you have two pads, one on this side and one on this side. And they're separated by the brown pages. 
but I thought that was so nice and I like that it has this little band that goes around it because I like to keep a small one like this in my purse in case I get ideas when I'm out and about so I can jot them down. Because I tell you, my brain things, I get all these ideas and if I don't write them down the next day, I'll forget half of them. So it was nice to find that and I liked that it has that little band so that it doesn't get all messy in my purse when I'm carrying it with me. Now this next item is new and it is a new crafter square item. It is cotton twine, 100% cotton. And uh, you, they had several colors to choose from. I just picked up a few. So I got this one, which is a really pretty light gray. This one, I just love that color. It's like a baby blue or periwinkle. So you can see the difference when it's next to the gray. And then of course you can always use black cotton twine. So I grabbed one in black. And then the last color that I picked up was just the taupe. Not sure what I'm going to do with these, so that's why it kind of stayed with more of the neutral colors. That way, um, if I need it, maybe for jewelry making or something along those lines, I'll have them. I found a really perfect stencil. I couldn't believe it. I've been wanting them to come out with stencils like this for a long time. Stencils that have words, not just the letters, but actual words. And I found one. So this is love, fun, joy, home, family, laugh, sweet, lucky, life, happy, together. Absolutely perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Sometimes it's hard when you're using stencils and you're trying to do it letter by letter to get them straight to make them look right. But when it's the whole word, it makes it so much easier for you to work with. So I thought that was a wonderful find. Now I did find several more awesome stickers, so I'm just gonna go through those rather quickly. Um, these I thought were so pretty, they are fall leaves. In this first package, you get 12 pieces. And these are kind of puffy stickers. And I thought they were so pretty, really nice to do a fall project. I know it's early, but you know with Dollar Tree, if you see it and you have an idea and want it, you need to buy it then. This package has 11 pieces, absolutely gorgeous. Nice variety of leaves and these even green ones. So I really like that. Between those two packages, you could do a really nice craft. And these I bought just because they're so bright and colorful. You get 11 pieces and they are flowers, very bright and cheery. Now I also found these, they are stickers, they're puffy, really, really pretty. So this first one on the top, it says lucky and on the bottom, it says happy. Really pretty, nicely done. Then on this one, it says summer vacation. Really nice. So these are perfect. If you like to do planners, if you like to do scrapbooking, anything along those lines, Dollar Tree has amazing stickers to choose from and they change them out rather frequently. So there's always something new to choose from. Now this next one is a rub on transfer. They had several to choose from, but I only grabbed one and this one says, be a little wild. I'm all for that. Definitely go for it and be a little wild. Okay. So I was lucky I found some more of the laser cut icons. So I wanted to share those with you. I have not been able to find all of them. Each time I go into the store, it's like they've restocked a few here and a few there. So as uh, hopefully after a few visits, I will be able to pick them all up. Uh, so the first one is a word. I did not get this one last time and it is family. Now the words you get three of them in the package. And the rest of these are all the icons. Now this one is kind of like by the sea or coastal. We have some turtles. We have some seahorses and some shells. And these you get two of each of the patterns. And of course, since summer's coming and everybody loves coastal and by the sea or nautical, these come in great. I did go ahead and grab two of that pattern. 
And I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. And these are birds. Now I found two different types. So this first one, it looks like a quail on top, a hummingbird. And I'm not sure what the bottom one is, but it's really pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So I did get two packages of those. And then these are different birds. These all look like um, maybe songbirds, but they're all kind of in flight. Very pretty. And again, I bought two packages of these. And then the last ones that I picked up, absolutely love. They are, uh, it has a, it's like a bumblebee, a ladybug, and a moth. Absolutely gorgeous. And I am planning on doing some bumblebee and some ladybug crafts this summer. So I did go ahead and pick up two packages of those. I'm sure they'll come in handy for those projects. Okay, so that was all of the craft supplies. Now, I did pick up some really uh, tasty treats, so I wanted to share those with you as well. So the first snack that I picked up, which has been my latest addiction, are these Cheez-Its Snack. Now, I was kind of bummed this time when I purchased these because this time you only get two in a package. The last couple times I bought them, you got three in a package. So I don't know if I was just getting bonus buys that didn't say that on the outside or if they're just getting a little cheaper and now you only get two. But I love these things. They are so good. Uh, Cheez-Its are okay. These are so much better. I love them. They're extra thin. They're extra crispy. They're extra cheesy. They're delicious. So I did grab two packages of those. Now this next snack I did buy previously to try and I love them and I was so glad that they still have them in the store. And they are Nature's Garden Mountain Trail Mix. 130 calories in this one and four grams of protein. This is what the package looks like. Now there are four individual packages inside. So it's perfect if you have um, you have to do lunches and you need something to put in the lunches, anything along those lines, these are perfect. So the package looks like that. Now it's not a huge amount, but it is a serving size. <laughs> so in this one, you get a couple different types of nuts. You get raisins and then you get a few M&Ms in there. So, and that is this one, the Mountain Trail Mix. Now they also have this one and it is tropical fruit mix. And this one, let's see, it doesn't say on this one. This one's 110 calories and only one gram of protein, uh, but because it is mainly dried fruit, it is 15 grams of sugar. But again, these come in uh, four small packs, so it's perfect for snacking or for lunches or even to keep in your purse when you need that little pick-me-up and go. And that is what that one looks like. And this one has, it says, a blend of banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. So that's always nice, uh, a little bit healthier for you than, say, chips or things like that. Now, I was kind of surprised to see this. This is a brand name item, and uh, since it was at the Dollar Tree, I decided to try it. And they are V8, and this one is pomegranate blueberry smoothie. And uh, I was kind of surprised to see them. Let me. So the pomegranate blueberry, it says no sugar added, three combined servings of veggies and fruit. And there are no artificial uh, sweeteners. It says this one has antioxidants and vitamin A and C. 100% juice. So it's 150 calories. Ooh, 33 grams of sugar. That's pretty high. But it says there's no added sugar. So that strictly comes from the fruit. 
and it is 12 fluid ounces. So I grabbed two of the uh, pomegranate blueberry. And then they also have this one, which says lower in sugar. It's healthy greens, no sugar added, two combined servings of veggies and fruit, no artificial sweeteners. Again, antioxidants and vitamin A and C. And this one is 100 calories per serving, which is a bottle. And let's see, uh, 20 grams of sugar and two grams of protein. So I grabbed two of these to try as well. I'm always looking for ways to eat better, but you know, I don't know why they always have so much sugar in everything. Even when they list it as being a healthy food for you, it's always loaded with sugar. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's haul. A little bit of everything. I found so many amazing items. I was so excited that they were finally starting to put out some Easter. I hope that I'll be able to find the other items that I haven't found yet. I'm still looking for the, I think they're like 14 inch white little stuffed bunnies. I want to get a couple of those. And of course the other gnome signs that I didn't find yet. But I'm sure in my travels I'll come across them at some point. Well, thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone in your family is staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time.